these guards showed up and... Yes, how wonderful for the High Command to send an escort for you. Yes, it was a... quite kind of them. What kind of technology do you expect to find on this planet? I'm not sure what to expect. Our intelligence is a bit spotty. But we think they're pretty backwater. They haven't even invented a gravity grenade yet, so this should be pretty textbook. I don't think it'll be much of a challenge for General Skip. General Skip, newly promoted to the ray. This is his first planet capture mission. The diminutive general is the feel-good story of the Zirconian military, son of a two-moon general. He's worked his way up from latrine details to commanding his own elite team of commandos. Major General, you must be very proud of the team you've assembled for this important mission. These losers? This is what they saddled me with. I didn't choose them. They are lucky to have me leading them. But what about your science officer, Sparks? He's one of the greatest minds on the planet Zircon, inventor of the Gublionic Ear Waxer and published author. Who? The Geek? No. Yeah. He's okay. Okay? General, I would think it a great honor that the High Command chose such a distinguished Zirconian to be part of your team. Are you kidding me? That runt will get in the way more than he'll help. He has no military training. He is no warrior. You want to talk about a warrior? Talk about Taser. Yes, and what about Taser? He's a true soldier specimen, born and bred to fight, literally. Specialist Taser, what have you been doing to prepare for this mission to claim Earth? Uh, Earth? Yes, Earth. Oh, you mean that little rocky planet. I've been hitting the weights, get myself pumped for the ride, you know. I've also been working on my righteous skills. Impressive. Yeah. But Taser is not the only heroic brute on the team. Meet the mistress of mayhem, Specialist Razor, the lone female presence on this team. But don't let her good looks fool you. This petite zirconian packs a big punch. Razor, what is it like to be the only female zirconian picked by the high command to join this team of heroes? It's an honor, of course. I guess one could assume that the High Command felt this mission required a woman's touch. If by a woman's touch you mean a roundhouse kick to the face, then yes. <laughs> well, well, there you have it. The future of our great Zirconia and many other soon-to-be-enslaved planets lie in the capable hands of this ragtag team of heroes. Let's wish them the best of luck in crushing the spirits of the Earthlings. <laughs> Tune in next week when we meet the real housewives of Zirconia. Shuttle to a distant, uninhabitable Zircon moon. So begins the training to whip the hastily assembled crew into shape.
is junk food attack. <laughs> Time for mind control test. Host. Earthly breaking dance. <laughs> I fly. All oh, this breaking dance is making me hungry. I go get something to eat. It's my turn when we get back. No, it's my turn. My turn. It's my turn. My turn. It's my turn. Uh, excuse me, guys. Uh, a little help here. I'm stuck in a precarious position. We start with the smallest weapons. Anyone we encounter, we trip with subterfuges. And then we kill with great, powerful weapons. Then we dig up Seismatron, and Geek makes it work. And if he fails, we give him Zirconian Wedgie. Yes, Excuse me. I must be using the little Zirconian room. Matron is there. 